My name is David Pickering. Um, I am the creative associate for the learning and, uh, and participation department at the Royal Opera House. I'm also a former soloist dancer from the Royal Ballet Company. So it's not the first time I've worked with Magpie Dance. The journey is always an interesting one. Any ideas that I have to offer, Alison and the team take them away and offer them to the dancers and they come back with 10, 20, a million more even better ideas um, to how, of how to embody those dances. So my involvement with this Magpie project is really as a, I guess, a consultant to, um, to, to, to pass on some information that I know firsthand from performing in ballets that the Royal Ballet have performed here that have got some really interesting heroes and villains. I'm Amy Lovelock. I'm a facilitator and choreographer for Magpie Dance. We always work collaboratively at Magpie with our dancers. It's really important to us that each dancer feels valued and have, has the opportunity to share their ideas. So creating space and giving time for that to happen is um, the most important thing at the start of the process. After our first creative uh, session, we decided actually we just want to focus on the villains. And we focused on three different ones from three different ballets. I started with learning through um, Sleeping Beauty, Ugly Sisters, Cinderella, and Firebird. I love the evilness, because I've got the eye. I like the silliness um, with the Ugly Sisters. And I really like the when everything comes out like concert. And I, I like it. I like it. My name is Zoe and I'm Carabos. Ah, and how are you feeling about that today? Great. Yeah, Great. good. I just hope I get it right. So the first session with our dancers is really getting to know each character, each villain. Um, so getting to know their characteristics, their story, their movement quality when you see them in the original ballet. We can then take each character on a journey of our own and start building the foundation for the story that we want to tell. I'm Ella and I'm a lead facilitator at Magpie Dance. It's been a real joy and delight to collaborate with David again. Initially we visited the Royal Opera House and David shared some of the classical ballet mime and repertoire from the villains from the ballets which we'd chosen. And it's been really fun to put some of those movements into our final piece. The bad, the very bad and the ugly. Myself and Ella are contemporary choreographers, so we've been approaching it from that angle. We've had David Pickering teach our dancers some rep for each villain in the original productions, which was brilliant. And he also taught our dancers some mime, which we very quickly realised was very similar to Makaton, which is a type of sign that our dancers use. Um, obviously it's different different signs, different moves, but the goal is the same, is to communicate um, and to storytell. And seeing that in practice, seeing the two worlds of ballet, mime and makaton come together in one performance was really special. Just before the final show at the Family Sundays, we teach some of the audience a makaton so everyone can have a go before they see it in the final work. I think originally we thought it would be quite fun to, to imagine what would happen if, if villains from different ballets or different worlds met. I mean, what would happen if Kostchai met Karabos? That doesn't happen in the ballet, but what would happen if it happened in, in Magpie's ballet? And the dancers just sort of thought, well, we need to, to think about 
how we're going to make this really interesting. And actually, maybe they're not the best villains. Maybe they're, they need some training. So it was actually the dancers, through their creative process, that they decided to, to, to come up with a, an idea that they'll go to a, like, a, like a villain camp. It was really the imagination of the dancers that took that journey forward. We had the idea of what happens if we look at the, each villain from a different angle, from their perspective. Maybe we discuss their history or their environment or their upbringing and it might give us suggestions as to why they are villains, why they do bad things um, and whether we could create for ourselves but also the audience an element of understanding um, or even empathy for the characters. Um, that part of the process was really interesting. Why are you villain? Maybe we make bad choices because of our mums. I think I'm just insecure. I'm jealous of other people's beauty. I don't feel right about myself. For our dancers to have a platform at the Royal Opera House is so important. It shows visibility, inclusivity, and it shows that this kind of experience is tangible for our dancers and for other dancers with disabilities. So excited, I was doing um, it was a I was a whack. I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I love the actresses. Make me laugh. Oh, and how do you think the performance went today? It went really, really well. I was so proud of myself. For the young children who have never seen our performance before, for them, if they want to be a dancer or anything, it can also look up to us. But for the adults, whether it's writing for people, us go out 10 out of 10. And it's part of my character, but it's from the inside, the inner, yourself. I really did the all this first time. I am tired tonight. <laughs> it's really important for me, um, as, a, as a dance practitioner, to, to work with all people, any age, any stage, it's important to be inclusive. And Magpie Dance, for me, is just brilliant. They, they are such a wonderful company of professional dancers, really. They, they embody everything that, that, that we throw at them. It's always just been fantastic and, and positive to work with Magpie Dance, so um, let's do it again.